Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to draw dot and cross diagrams for the formation of ionic compounds. Ok, I'm showing you here the ionic compounds sodium chloride and magnesium oxide. In this video we're going to look at how ionic compounds such as these form. As we've seen sodium chloride is an ionic compound. Remember that sodium is a metal and chlorine is a non-metal. I'm showing you here the electrons in the outer shells of an atom of sodium and an atom of chlorine. I'm using dots and crosses but you need to understand that they both show electrons. I'm also showing you the electron configuration of these two atoms. In both cases the number of protons in the nucleus is the same as the number of electrons. So that means that both of these atoms are neutral. Now the key fact you need to learn is that many atoms react in order to achieve the electron configuration of a noble gas. I'm showing you the electron configurations of the noble gases neon and argon. As you can see, sodium can achieve the same electron configuration as neon by losing one electron. And chlorine can achieve the same electron configuration as argon by gaining one electron. Now one really important idea you need to understand is that in ionic bonding, electrons are transferred from the metal to the non-metal. So in this case, the electron in the outer shell of the sodium atom is transferred to the outer shell of the chlorine atom. Because the sodium atom has lost an electron, it now forms this sodium ion, which has a charge of positive 1. The chlorine atom has gained an electron, so it forms the chloride ion with a charge of negative 1. Now, there are a couple of points that you need to understand. Firstly, both ions now have the same electron configuration as a noble gas. The sodium ion has the same electron configuration as neon, and the chloride ion has the same electron configuration as argon. Secondly, the square brackets tell us that the charge is spread over the whole ion. These positive and negative ions are now attracted to each other by electrostatic forces of attraction. OK, I'm showing you here the electronic structures of magnesium and of oxygen. I'd like you to complete the dot cross diagrams for the ions formed when these react. I'd also like you to work out the electron configuration of the ions and state which noble gas has the same electron configuration. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, in this case the two outer electrons from the magnesium atom will be transferred to the oxygen atom. I'm showing you the dot and cross diagrams of the ions here. And as you can see, both ions have the same electron configuration as the noble gas neon. In the next video, we're going to look at how ions form a giant ionic lattice. And we're going to use this to explain the physical properties of ionic compounds. Thank you.